Now we'll discuss about the duodenum part one. Here you can see this is division of the abdominal cavity in nine regions. This is epigastrium. This is left hypochondrium, right hypochondrium, left lumbar, right lumbar. This is umbilical. This is hypogastric. And this is left iliac. This is right iliac. So this region is umbilical region. Here is position of the stomach. This is position of stomach. And this is position of duodenum. This is position of duodenum. So here is junction of duodeno pyloric junction. Or this is duodeno pyloric junction. Here duodeno jejunal junction. So this is pylorus of the stomach. This is pylorus of the stomach. This is first part of the duodenum. This is first part. And this part is second part, this part is second part, and this part is third part, this is fourth part. So first part is superior part, second is descending part, third is horizontal part, fourth is ascending part. So this is descending, this is ascending part, this is superior, this is horizontal part. And length of each part or segment. Length of first part is about 5 cm, second part 7.5 cm, sorry, third part 10 cm, fourth part 2.5 cm or in inch First part is 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 1 inch. First part 2 inch, second part is 3 inch. Third part is 3 inch and sorry, uh, first part is 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch and 1 inch. So in inches, you can see this is 2, 3, 4 and 1 inches. So total distance is, uh, to, uh, total length is about 25 centimeter or uh, 10 inches. Position, what is location of the duodenum? This duodenum lies in the epigastrium region, small part, and most of the part lies in the umbilical region. This is umbilical region. If you see the relation of the duodenum, first of all, relation of the first part of the duodenum, this is first part of the duodenum. This first part is related with, first part can be divided into medial and lateral part or proximal and distal part. Proximal half of the first part is covered by peritoneum. So proximal half is covered by peritoneum on both sides. And here this is, this is lesser omentum, this is greater omentum. If you see medial half of the first part, this is first part, it is covered by peritoneum on both surfaces. This is lesser omentum, this is greater omentum. It covers this. And 
is distal or lateral half part that means lateral 2.5 cm it is retroperitoneal this portion is only covered on anterior side this portion visceral lesion if you see viscera this here is position of liver this is liver there is liver if you cut a section at this level you will find that this is this is quadrate part of the liver quadrate lobe of the liver and here is position of fundus of the gallbladder this is covering of the peritoneum and this is position of the first part of the duodenum this first part of duodenum anteriorly it is related with the fundus of the gallbladder and quadrate lobe of the liver and posteriorly it is related with the this is bile duct and the structure that is this is celiac tract which gives common hepatic branch here is celiac tract which gives common hepatic this is hepatic proper and this is gastroduodenal so posterior it is related to gastroduodenal artery and another thing this is bile duct sorry this is portal vein this is portal vein so here is portal vein this is portal vein here is portion of head of the quadrant head of the pancreas this is head of the pancreas this is head of the pancreas here is position of inferior vena cava this is inferior vena cava this is inferior vena cava. here is this is epiploid foramen so in this diagram you can see this is parasite section this is first part of the duodenum and you need to relate with the fundus of the gallbladder and quadrate the lobe of the liver posteriorly this is bile duct this is gastroduodenal artery this is common hepatic artery it gives hepatic proper and this is sorry pancreatic duodenal artery this is pancreatic duodenal artery this is pancreatic duodenal artery this is pancreatic duodenal artery <coughs> and then this is portal vein this is portal vein then this is inferior vena cava superiorly superior to this you can see there is epiploid foramen and inferior to this this is structure this is head of the pancreas so these structures are related with the first part of the duodenum 
So this is Aligarh, the first part of the Durga.